Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Black Knight, your CEO in pajamas. And I've had some time to kind of play with the, the gun run and DLC here for a little bit. I've had some time to ponder it, to consider, you know, what is the value of it? Is it any good? Is it, is, what are the good parts? What are the bad parts? And I think I have to say, overall, it's quite fun. I'm enjoying most of the missions. Uh, they're varied. There's, there, it's not one thing after another, which is kind of like you know the same thing over and over again. Rather, it's uh, you know there, there's definitely some variation in what goes on with it. Uh, is it the way to make money if you're just worried about money making? I don't really think so for the time you know allotted, because of the supply issue. You either have to pay for supplies and that cuts into your profits, or you have to do you know a whole bunch of resupply missions, which takes away from your dollars per minute or whatever it would be. So I think as far as making money, you're probably still better off doing the special vehicle missions. I think those are more effective. But, I mean, as far as playing a video game and having fun, this is definitely a fun kind of thing to do. Uh, for what I'm going to do for the, the short term here is set everybody to work on research so that I don't have to work. Because I'm not going to, if I'm not going to be doing supply missions, if I'm not going to be doing the gun running missions back and forth all the time, uh, if I'm not going to do sell missions, rather, then you may as well, you know, just sell off what the last of it is, which is what this Buckle mission your is. seat belts. It's going to get bumpy. Merriweather got wind of these sales, so expect them to show up at some point, and maybe have someone waiting on the gun for them. The important thing is the weapons get to the drops. Okay, what do we get here? Let's run up over the rise, and here you go. It's the new custom insurgent. Which I'm kind of encouraged here because I'm thinking maybe we'll get to put custom liveries on these things, you know, just like we do with the regular. The pick, we can do that with the pickup insurgent the way we do the regular insurgent. That's really cool, and it looks like it's hooked. It's got a tow hook on it, so we'll be able to pull the anti-aircraft out. Now. And so that once you finally get that, that'll be great. But I mean, I'm not. You can see I only have like 400k in this game right now. I'm not buying any special vehicles for the short term. But they do get like, you play with them like this. Like here, I get to drive the uh, the pickup insurgent. No, I don't have a man on the gun. But I mean, it does come in useful later, as I recall. But what I'm planning to do for the short term is have everybody work on research periodically. Maybe do a supply mission or so, or even just buy supplies. I can do that. That guy came out of his lane to drive into an armored transport. Why? These NPCs are just crazy. Um. And the, the good news is, is that if you're not a big buck guy, if you're not like you have 20 million in the bank, you can still have fun with this, this DLC, which I think is huge. You know, that's you know, I'm probably going to go back to doing the uh, the ve special vehicle cargo stuff, which is also fun. And then maybe you know, mix it up with some supply missions and stuff from this while I do research um, for when I eventually have enough money to get things. You know, well, we're going to slowly progress this. This isn't going to be. Let's do all the gun running stuff at once so we can try to be the first on the on the block doing gun running. Now this mission you'll see right here, if I had, say, Pizzesco on the gun, if I had one of my buddies on a gun, then this would have been a whole lot easier. Instead what you're gonna have is me shooting people with, you know, I think my AP pistol or something or the regular SMG. This one. Excuse me, ladies. I have to drop off, you know, weapons. Now, I'm trying to hit E to drop it off, and it wasn't intended to do it. Don't know what that glitch was. Now, here's the trick. You dropped it off. You can't just run away in this mission. You have to shoot them all. So I positioned myself so that I could have a clear shot from inside the armored... Uh, Personnel vehicle here. And they really didn't mask their attack very well. This, isn't, this wasn't really all that hard. For it is a bit time consuming. But I mean, what's nice about this is here I am. I'm a single player. I don't have any crew going. But I can still do the mission. Now, if I was blasting these guys with the main gun, this wouldn't even. This is a deal. What do you really need? You just go shooty, shooty, blam, blam. 
And you finally, it releases you and you can go. Somewhere along the line, I have to see if we can keep those vehicles. Because I really would like a murder with a Jeep. And I probably could have gotten one at the end of this mission, but I, I overshot up the Jeep. In, in over bullet zealousness. But you'll get to see that in a little bit. But I think it's really positive that, you know, Rockstar made something that everybody can use. You don't have to have a whole bunch of people, which is what I was kind of concerned about, you know. Now, when it comes down to doing the special vehicle missions, uh, then you're going to need a buddy. That's just all there is to it. And, you know, you could try your, try your luck with, you know, the Rando Calrissians out there. Which is fine, you can try that. We may do some of that. He just like appeared there. That was like, he didn't even drive up. Okay, now, here we go, we get some more guys over here. I guess we know where they're going. You know, I didn't think at this time, what happens with the guy in the bullet? Hey, he's in the crossfire. Hopefully he's run away. Now, I'm in an insurgent, so I can get shot through the windows, but it's not easy to shoot me through the windows. But maybe the micro SMG might do a little bit more damage with trying to turn it on the ground. There's somebody back there, but they're not doing anything. Mix this up a little bit. Now, do we have to go find that guy? I'm trying to remember, because it's been a little bit since I did the mission. Let me back it up and get by. Oh, there you go, another insert. So the first thing you do is kill the guy. Right? A lot of killing it. On to the next thing. It's not. This one was a particularly time-consuming sort of thing because I don't have a guy on the gun. If you have a gun, then it's just like just sheer fun of just driving around blasting the crap out of stuff. And yeah, there's. It's, it's nice that they're not making missions necessarily to frustrate us. Although there are some. I've done a couple that we're doing. Like really, really, we have to do it this way. But you know, it's a good mix. So I think overall the verdict is good on the gun running missions. I'm gonna probably, like I said, I'm only gonna do, you know, a few resupplies here and there just to keep the research going. That'll keep, you know, the cost down. I mean, you know, the one thing I'm not doing is I'm not upgrading anything at the uh, at the bunker because it, it, it'll, it'll double the cost, the daily cost for it. The daily cost for it when you get one is $4,700, you know, dollars. That's a lot per day. And you can go up over $9,000 if you upgrade it. Now, that's fine if you're going to be doing all the missions. If this is going to be your main your main source of income, if you want to make it serious. But if you're just doing some research and eventually you're going to get the car so you don't need everything fast. And you don't mind doing more resupply missions that you would normally need to. You're just going to do them every once in a while and keep things rolling. You know, once we get research done, I might just shut the business down until... Uh, so I save up you know, that two or three million that you really do need to get an MOC. I mean, you can get it for 1.2, but it's going to be an empty bag. It's not going to do anything for you. So you may as well... Oh, here we go, another drop-off point. You may as well wait till you can afford to go and do it all in style. You know, get yourself... You really should get the, the vehicle and uh, weapon upgrade thing that takes up two bays. Here we go, a little more shooty shooty bang bang. Oh, and then here, this got more complicated. I know you're thinking, what can you do against a helicopter with just a, a, a micro SMD? First of all, thank goodness this thing can tank so much damage. So if you can get the pilot, and it just falls out of the sky. 
keep running over the special cargo. I hope that doesn't matter. Are you Okay, we're done there. We're done there. There's a guy off in the distance. I'm like, where is he? So I'm just shooting pedestrians, trying to find a little red arrow. Come on. Where is he? This guy, he's like halfway up the bridge. I don't know what... Is that a glitch? Did he get hung up? No, oh, there we go. Yeah, got like one of them. Well, not halfway up the bridge. I think at this point I was just trying to actually blow it up. People keep driving in. Behind, finally someone dies. Good. We move on to the next thing. Now, what's really interesting about the final drop-off point is that it, it throws you out of the truck. But you can then jump up on the truck, even if you're alone, and man the gun, which I think is a nice touch because it lets you be the gunner even if you don't have a crew and that, that that's nice now you can see i'm not getting interfered with too much in this run from players and if you read the chat as things are going it looks like they were too busy killing each other so that stuff's still going on but you could you can luck out and have people get engaged with each other and then you get go about and do your business and other times, obviously, as you've seen, it's, uh, it doesn't work out that way, you know. Yeah, this is it. This is the... Is this the final... The final conflict? No, this might not be the final conflict. This might be the second... Yeah, yeah we still have second to last. What the hell? What the hell? My wife's died, by the way. She was like, what the hell? Oh, we got another helicopter. Hide behind the trees. I don't know if the trees are blocking me. There we go. Hello, down. Oh, and they got me. Now the good news is, is that, you know, sometimes that happens, it's all over. Not in this case. I think I might get killed at long range a couple times here too, I don't remember. Too close, aimed it too close. Trying to get cover, I think I get taken down again. Yeah, put this down. Are you alright? Phone boost. Get out of the way, because you're gonna get blown up. We're taking them down, but we're we're wounded. We're wounded bad. One more bullet. Yeah, we got we got oh we got a, took got hit by the darn insurgent main gun. So you see, kids, this isn't a good plan for like what, how you want to live your life in real life because you, you don't respawn on the next street when someone blasts you in the head with a 50 cal. It just doesn't work that way. <laughs> I think I, I think I actually suicide bomb myself here. I think I threw the the uh, sticky bomb on the truck and I detonated too close. And it's, but in real life, again, you see this this one didn't go far enough. I didn't throw it. I got his bike, but that didn't set myself on fire. They're gonna die. Just how I was throwing the second one, I'm thinking this might take five of them, because I don't remember how many one of these takes. But luckily, it's probably taken some bullets before that. And of course, because it's a video game, you respawn on the next street. Isn't that great? You're blown to hell, and then you go oh, up, we're here. That's what makes it a fun video game as opposed to a life simulator, and you really shouldn't try to do any of this. Even if you're better at this than me and you don't die all the time, well, it's still not a good thing you should try to do. It doesn't mean that you're destined to be a really good arm smuggler. And those police are up, police are up running after probably other players, so that's good. They're entertaining themselves. 
in this particular venture. Now up on this one, this is we go up around here. It's not that far to drive. And this is where you have to get out and then man the gun, which makes things a lot simpler than the car. And a lot more fun. Very good kind of things going on, you know what I'm saying? Fun things are happening. That's what we really want to have happen. As we eventually drive around the bend and go up to a, a, the final position. That's it. That's, uh, you know. That's kind of. There we go. Overshot it. Okay, so we pull back in here. Holy shit! And then the, you read the thing, you're like, oh dear, I'm locked out. But we. Drop this. Okay, got the main gunner, got the guy approaching me. There's a little deal with this helicopter. It's a nice gun. Yeah, I should have left the Jeep alone, I could have had the Jeep. I mean, that really just disappoints me, you know? Should have left that Jeep alone. I wanted it. I want to get just a grab to Merriweather. I just do. Just as if I'm a collector as far as video game styles are concerned, you know? It's just what I do. Oh, we got somebody coming around the bend. They're late for the party. Come on. Let's go. Oh, we'll wait till we see the white to the right. Oh, there we go. There we go. You first. All right. Yeah, there. Before you attract any more attention, I've just shot down two helicopters right in this area. All kinds of stuff going on. And basically, it's just a case of run away. I don't know what the timer is on how how fast you have to get away. Again, I don't think I'd run this good with a bullet straight through my chest and through my thigh. It's a little, I'm just saying, it's a little uh, unrealistic, which is a good thing, because that's Happy. what makes it fun. No one ever said, I want to play Grand Theft Auto for the realism. Shit. Ding! All right, it was made. You know, 25 grand off that. But you can see, you know, is that comparable, really, to, a, you know, the time per, you know... Hey, you know, with mission? more people on your books at the facility, you dramatically cut down production time. More guns in the world more quickly is never a bad thing, right? But that costs more money, and I don't really... I'm going to be cheap about this until I really get myself up on, on board here. What was I doing here? I think I just went back to the office to do my Anything standard... Anything you need, boss. Closing out sort of thing. Oh, this is like shower off the blood time, maybe. Yeah, it's just didn't need time for a shower. That's what I ended up doing. So, here's my verdict on this. The final verdict on it's cool. You can play it at higher levels where you're doing a lot bigger stuff and, you know, more complicated things once you get yourself an MOC. I believe the MOC is how you can only way to get the special vehicle missions for this DLC, too, by the way. That's why I think you need to get that MOC before you can do... Remember, I'll do anything as long as it's legal. Itch. That doesn't give you a lot of limits, baby, because I've seen what you're willing to do. Um, so, at some point, when I get three or four million build up, we'll get the, get the darn MOC, do some more special vehicle missions, and still then, I don't want to accidentally waste any cell missions on this. Oh, we've run to the end of the video, I'm still talking. I don't want to waste any cell missions on this in case they don't count unless you have the MOC. So I'm going to hold off selling for a little while, just keep supplying and researching, and eventually we'll get some stuff. And on that note, as I've talked a little bit long, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night.